Marketing. When you talk about marketing, you're listening now. You're listening. Marketing is listening. You're listening to your customers. You're serving your most faithful customers. Seth Godin, an author of, of many books, one of them called Tribes. Seth Godin argues get 1,000 fanatical, faithful fans. That's all you need. If people are telling you your service is X, if 9 out of 10 people are telling you the same thing, it's you. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. I'll break it down. It's you. If everybody's saying the same thing, you're always late. You're not living up to your potential. Your business would be better if. And if whatever comes after that if is the same thing over and over again, you need to adjust. Period. Period. Whether you like it or not. That's the world we're living in now. Educating. How many of you teach people about what you do? Or about how you got where you are now? That's what YouTube videos are for now. These notions of how-to tutorials and sharing information virally. Twitter sharing information. We are in a sharing culture. Share your process, share your failure, share your success, share your strategy. Ooh, I'm not sharing my strategy. <laughs> Let them get their own. I work my way up. I need to buy myself. <laughs> not true anyway. That's false anyway. Somebody help. And nowadays when you share your strategy, you'd be surprised how many people will build upon it and say, did you think about this resource? Let me help you with that. I went through that already. Here's how I survived. That's what the blogging world is all about. Information sharing. We are in a seismic paradigm shift. The old thinking is dying by choice or by fate. I'd rather choose my fate than just get caught by it. Especially when I see it. I see it. Participate. You are no longer leading a conversation. You're joining in the conversation. The conversation's already going on. You're not going to control it. You're not going to come in and say, I'm superior. I've been working for 20 years. I know more than all of you. They're going to ignore you. You'll be invited to leave the conversation. <laughs> you are the weakest link. <laughs> and it's frustrating. Trust me, it is extremely frustrating. You know, here I am, quote unquote, at the top of my game career-wise, and now I'm starting all over, adding this digital layer. And it's troubling sometimes, but I get enough of it just to be dangerous, but I need more of you to get it, because we have to leverage our context, our wisdom, and our experiences in different places and spaces. I tell young people all the time, you may understand the digital tools, but you don't have the wisdom behind it. You know, you may be out, out searching me on Google, but you don't know the context, you can't connect all the dots because you don't know all the dots that are there. Okay? Oh, my favorite, engagement. And I may have told this joke last year, but it's my favorite one. Engagement. Engage people in what you're doing. Don't make it a situation where they feel uncomfortable or that they lack the knowledge to participate. Engage people. Engagement matters. Whether in the newsroom, the classroom, the pulpit, or the bedroom. If you are not engaged, it won't work. 